So guys, our first hack is a full body polishing max. And the first thing we'll need is rice powder. That is organic rice powder. If you don't have rice powder, not to worry. You could just grab a rice from your kitchen store and you can use that as well. Just make sure it's organic rice because if it's processed rice, then you are just left with chemicals and there's no really important nourishment it gives to the skin. So just make sure it's organic rice, blend it uh, to powder and you have the same thing. Next is turmeric powder. You all know how I feel about my turmeric powder. So I'm just going to be adding a little bit of that as well. Next for liquid, we'll be adding in some yogurt. Um, if you are vegan, you can replace this with coconut milk if you don't like yogurt or all of that. I'm just going to mix everything together till it have this nice, nice, lovely consistency. Guys, I just want to demonstrate to you on how to use the scrub and body mask. I make sure my skin is wet, so you use it in the bathroom as always. So guys, our next hack is a glow oil and it's a rose glow oil. We are going to need three amazing oil. It's nothing complicated, something simple and direct and straight to the point. The first is rose hip oil. Rose hip oil is one of my favorite oil for the body because it's very lightweight. You can use it for your body and you can use it for your face as well. It has mind-blowing benefits it exfoliates the skin it moisturizes it it hydrates the skin from deep within and I'm going to make sure it's the greater oil in this oil recipe so I use like half of it for the recipe the next is jojoba oil jojoba oil is very very absorbent it's like the sebum on the skin almost the same thing it's like the most absorbing oil you could come across and it's very moisturizing so i'm going to be adding some jojoba oil in this recipe too it also nourishes and feeds your skin finally the next oil we'll be adding is the vitamin e oil with vitamin e oil you don't want to go way overboard because it's very greasy and it's very very potent so it just a little bit goes a long way plus it's going to help your oil to last so much long better that it doesn't go rancid. After all of that, you are going to make sure to give it a very good stir so everything is mixed properly and you are going to bottle it up.
so guys the next um hack is a body wash and it's a clarifying all natural body wash it clears body acne it brightens the skin and it does so much more and how to make this body wash is pretty simple So the first thing you need is some grater and some bowl to grate your soap in and of course you will need the black soap which is the Dudu Ocean black soap, African black soap, that's what I'm using. This soap is so underrated guys, it glows the skin, it, it can like, it's just the best thing and it's one of my long kept secrets. Always make sure wherever you buy or purchase your black soap from is soft it's easy for you to like use your hand and bend it that's how to know that's the original african black soap also we'll need some malic acid which is apple cider vinegar malic acid is very 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 good for the skin it does so much and it also exfoliates the skin in a milder way so every skin type can use it whether you have sensitive skin or whatever skin you can skip the tea tree oil but you can also put this if you battle body acne and you just want to clear pimples and acne from your body of course next we'll need a container to pour in our soap after we are done making it and to melt this soap we'll be needing hot water or warm water first we are going to start by grating the soap into smaller pieces you could decide to blend it if that's what you want to do or you could just take a knife and cut it into really small pieces but it's faster this way and just bear in mind the smaller you can get it to the quicker is everything is going to melt nicely for you so after everything has been melt cut nicely pour in the warm water or hot water to like melt in your black soap you need to be very careful when you are pouring in the water because you have to have in mind your container exactly because you don't want the water to exceed the size of your container you are going to put the soap in eventually so you need to be careful with all of that so after pouring in the water it's time for the apple cider vinegar which is our source of malic acid and you can see the little reaction occurring there that's the malic acid present in apple cider vinegar it's a gentle acid and it will help to brighten dull complexion over time like i said you can skip the three tea tree essential oil but if you battle body acne, this is very, very, very good for you because it will help to kill those bacteria causing breakout on the back, on the chest, and here you have it. So I want this to sit and melt nicely. So make sure to cover the soap so it's not exposed, so nothing flies inside or falls inside. So hence I'm using this um, plastic bag to like cover the surface. So this is after a few hours of it sitting and everything is already melted nicely and it's time for me to bottle it up and that's what i'll be doing and there you have your lovely exfoliating all natural body wash this body wash is amazing it's enriched and it can transform your skin really well i'll just be showing you guys how amazing it ladders black black soap is the king of <laughs> laddering anyhow like this is sure to transform your skin anytime you're having a shower just make sure you go with this but if you have extremely dry skin though i would say uh you want to stay away from black soap because it is very 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 it's it dries out excess oil very well from the skin or you could try it and just make sure after shower you have very good moisturizing plan like you know moisturize and layer with an oil for effective results so th this me showing you guys what this amazing body wash can do it ladders really 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 well so i hope you guys enjoyed the video that's it and until next time don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.